Um, so let's actually look into this first one right here. And you don't have to open it. You can just look on my screen. I already have it open. Um, when you get into model space and open up the file, you're going to see that there are four zones here. And each one has the title of the project on top. Um, each one of those four zones is where you'll be able to drop your project into. And once you drop your project in, you can actually <coughs> place it in the placeholders that are provided, all those squares here. Um, and your project should fit nicely in each one of these zones. Um, so this little box down here for next to floor plan is actually where your floor plan would go. And what I'm talking about is down here, this is your floor plan should fit within this bo bounding box. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you an example of how to do this, and I'll do it with the folding space project. So what it's going to require you to do besides having your portfolio template open is to open up your version of your project. So let's say I start off with the folding space first. I would select all of your information, hide anything that's not important, right? And you know how to hide things with the uh, freeze tool. So you can easily hide any layers that are not important. You're going to select all of your information here. And all you need to do is do hit control C. And what that does is it copies everything. After you take care of that, you jump back to your template file that I provided. And just kind of come off to the side here and do control V, which is going to paste. And it should paste your project like that onto here. What it's going to do is transfer all the information and all your layers as well. So all these layers were not here in the file before. But now that I've pasted my drawings in here, all the layers have shown up with all their properties um, the same. And so after you take care of that, now you just need to get in here and start moving around your information. So I will move this so it'll fit inside of this zone right here, like that. And if you want to trim it, you can always trim it after if you'd like. Um, and then next you would take the site plan, which is here. And you can move that next to the site plan location. Um, we have our floor plans and elevations here, so that would be the next step. Um, and you just go ahead and grab and move. So it's going to be pretty straightforward to take care of this. Um, and you just kind of copy, or you can actually move, select, and move these into place. Uh, be careful with hatches. You may need to rehatch things if they're hatched together because hatches joined as group objects. And so you can see how these two hatches that were here with this one are associated all together. And so it's kind of an issue. So I'd probably delete that and then remember to rehatch if you need to. Um, so I'll move these last two into place here. And I got to slide this one over. Okay. Now the last thing to deal with is the elevations. And so I can just start with one at a time here. And that's in the last couple of seconds here. Let's see how long it took. So in the last five minutes, I was able to take my entire project, place it onto the template in the provided zones. And then from there, what you can do now is after you have your information done, and then now place it in this file and place it like I just did, Hillside Retreat and your Meditation Space project into this template here. And then as you finish these projects, just go ahead and copy and paste and drop them in to their designated areas. Now the last thing to look at here is once you get everything in model space, all in their general placeholding zones, the next thing you do is to move into the layouts here. Now, there are four layouts. Layout one of four, two of four, three of four, and if you click this down, double down arrow, it'll get you to the fourth one. Um, if you click on these, and I'll go ahead and click on the first one here, there is a template already provided for you that has the title page for your portfolio. Um, the request here is to print two blank pages, which I will show you how to do that. And then your actual project will start here. Um, you are going to be required to fill in some of this information. It does not need to be extremely long, like a, like a wordy book, but 
there should be a few sentences here discussing different aspects of your design. After that, you would go into your site plan and drop down to your diagrams and your floor plan, um, your elevations all across like this. After that, we have our two-point perspective and our two sections. Um, and that's everything that was provided from the actual assignment, and so you'll be required to fill all that information in. Um, notice how this is reading now. It's reading like a booklet, right? So if you, this is a book here, this is where the center of the book is, where it, uh, where you can, it's the spine of the book. And so once you flip this page, you end up on the next two pages. So hopefully everybody understands that concept, that these are set up like what's known as a spread, or two sheets side by side. Um, and this is literally how they should be read, uh, left to right, as in left page, right page. When you flip this page, you drop down to the next left and right page. Um, so there is a meditation space layout provided. The second one on here is the hillside retreat. And it is condensed a little more, but exact same concept here. Next on here is the third layout. Um, and this is the bus terminal layout. And you can, if you, once you get a chance, you can look through this. You see it has the site plan, diagrams, the view from approach, uh, elevations, and sections. Um, on here is the last board layout, which is the one that I actually used to drop in as an example in model space, which was the folding space project. And now that that's taken care of, what would be left is to fill in the information here and talk a little bit about my project and then jump into making sure that everything is reading properly here. Um, and there is gonna be some refinement required with your viewports and that will be the next thing we look at. So this is sort of the overall scope of work here for this assignment. Um, everything, all the templates are provided for you. It's really about going into your projects, selecting the work, copying it, bringing it into this file and model space and pasting it onto the side, and then moving everything to the respected zone. After you've done that, then you can jump into the actual layout and refine it from here.